and we have come down to the fourth movie in the series, the simply titled Rambo, which is very confusing because if people have not been used to the Rambo movies, they'd be like, okay, this is the first movie, and then they'll be like, wait, Rambo 3, and they'll be like, wait, what? You're like, yeah. But usually they call it Rambo 4, but I'm sticking to the main title that it was called when it was released. Anyway, this movie is finally directed by Sly Stallone himself, and of course he's in it again as John Rambo. It takes place 20 years, exactly 20 years, since Rambo 3, from 1988 to 2008. Wow. Fucking wow. This movie also is a... Uh, dedicated to the man who played Colonel Trutton, of course, because he's not in this movie because he passed away about six years prior to this movie's release. Six or seven years. So, yeah. But anyways, Rambo. The plot of Rambo is a pastor comes and hires Rambo, basically, to rescue a group of missionaries who were being kidnapped and tortured and possibly killed by a Burmese military regime and yeah that's all I'm gonna tell you there because this movie is fucking insanely awesome holy shit oh my god this movie's great I fucking love this movie man oh my god I think this is the this is the second longest movie in the franchise because I think the, the first two were like 90 minutes apiece or 80 minutes I think the first one was 80 minutes, second one was 90 minutes. Third one was an hour and 45 minutes, this one's an hour and 39 minutes. So this is the second longest one in the series. But arguably, this is the best in the fucking series. This is the best fucking Rambo I've ever seen, goddammit. Okay? The mass amount of blood, carnage, body parts. I, 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 I don't even think you can even keep count of this shit. You really have to examine this movie to figure out just how many fucking people Rambo alone killed. Not everybody else that got killed by everybody else. I'm talking about the people Rambo fucking killed. Because he made the people that, that the, the the regime kill look like shit. Okay? Holy shit. He literally takes out an entire fucking army. It's fucking insane. It's fucking insane. I thought Saving Private Ryan was over the top at the very beginning with the beach scene. Oh no. Fast forward 10 years later to this movie, because that one came out in 98. Wow. Man. Oh, fucking man. <laughs> I love this movie. I love the acting in this movie. Especially from the part from Julie Benz, who I remember Julie Benz. My introduction from Julie Benz goes all the way back to the TV series Angel, where she used to play his fuck toy for a while. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And she's the main chick in this movie, and she tries to get Rambo to help them out, but he keeps saying no. But she keeps saying they will pay you, and Rambo's not about the money and stuff like that. So I like that back and forth that they had to keep going through and stuff like that. Oh my god, the fucking soldiers that are with them though. This one bald-headed motherfucker. Oh my god, I want him to. I wanted to shoot him myself, man. I really want to shoot this boy bad, man. He made Vinny Jones in the Condemned look like child's play. Okay, that's how fucking annoying he was <laughs> in this movie. I'm like, oh my god, you better fucking die. You better fucking die. He doesn't. Damn, son of a bitch. But I did laugh at him several times though, because uh, he gets his ass whipped. <laughs> and not by Rambo, unfortunately. I really wanted to see that though. I really wanted to see him grab him by the neck, boy, and just. <laughs> His neck probably twisting off his fucking body and shit. Big enough heads off bodies. Woo! Head decapitation in this movie is with a fucking machete. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. But it's awesome. It is fucking awesome. Heads getting blown apart. Blown off by a sniper rifle. Blown off by an M60. Oh. Oh. This movie don't stop. It don't stop to take a breather either. Because it's constantly on the move. It's just like... We're going, we're going, we're going. You know what I mean? We're like, we're gonna fucking do this shit. We're gonna do this shit hardcore. This movie's fucking hardcore as hell, man. Oh my goodness gracious. I never had so much fun watching people die before in my life. 
<laughs> Did that make me a bad person? I hope not because it's awesome. Okay? Not the fact that people die in real life. But I'm talking about people dying in movies in awesome ass ways. That's fucking incre incredible for me. Okay? I'll take it. I'll fucking take that shit. Okay? Good grief. Oh my god. This was a, at the 20 years. I guess he's like, okay, we gotta make up for that 20 year gap. What do we do? Let the bodies hit the floor. Literally. <laughs> oh my god. This was great. Great, great times once again. I can't wait for the next movie. Awesomely titled Last Blood. That is brilliant. I can't wait for that. I don't know what year that's coming out, but it needs to hurry up and come out already before 2018 gets here and that'll be another 10 years since this movie. Hurry up, Stallone. Hurry the fuck up. I can't wait to get that last blood in me. Come on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Without a shadow of a doubt, Rambo is going to get an A+. Would have gave it a badass self approval. Just a few things that I kind of didn't... I kind of didn't like about it, especially when it comes to the kids being killed and shit, but it's still a fucking awesome ass movie, and if you have not seen it yet, you better fucking watch it, because it's fucking insane. It makes the first three Rambos look like jack shit, okay? As over the top and violent as they were, they're, they're not this one. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me know what you guys think about Rambo down below. Oh my god, I gotta watch this movie again. Jesus. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I will see you guys in the next one. Man.